seems to have been blown out of proportions uh, in the sense that religion has been dragged in. Um, things like sexual orientation and so on has been dragged into the picture. And because this, um, especially religion, is a potentially divisive and polaristic issue. So um, because of that, I believe the government had to take a position because uh, we, if uh, the situation continues unchecked, uh, it may create uh, some divisiveness and it might affect the social fabric of Singapore. What position did the government take? Uh, well, the government basically said that religion shouldn't come into the picture. This should be left to the members of AWARE to resolve internally according to their constitution. Yeah, so... Yes. I think it's all that... Yeah, government. correct. Mm -hmm. so, all can't speak for the government. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Uh, you said that uh, going by the past AGM, how many people turned up, you didn't think that aware, uh, or you thought aware of serving a very smaller group of people, a small group of people, mm. uh, but going by today, mm. and the people who spoke up, and the 1,400 who voted yes, you still think that way? It can't be, right? Mm. I'd like to answer. I, I think, think we I think have that. a lot more following yeah. than your thought initially. So what do you think happened? I think one or two things. One was actually data given by Constance Singham herself at the AGM, and she said that only about 100 or so members are active, if I remember correctly, out of 2,300 200, yeah. 300 over at mm. the time of the AGM. So it's like 100 over are really mm. active and the rest are not. Yeah, but but what's happening is that they brought back all the live, what they call the live members. Yeah, I know, but you don't have to be, obviously you don't have to be active in an organisation to believe in what they're doing. I guess, I guess, can I say, uh, I think the latest figure that we got uh, for membership is over 3,000. Mm. Yeah. Today, only 2,000, about 100 people turn up. Mm. So there's one missing 1,000 odd people who stayed away. What is the reason for them for staying away? Yeah, especially. 2,000 turned up, boys. But you know. <laughs> 3, yeah, 3,000 odd members that we had. The original membership was only 300. There was a sharp jump uh, in, in membership. So then we have to ask, what happened to the remaining 1,000 odd people who signed up? When they signed up, because of the ongoing publicity, people who signed up means that they want to attend. What made them stop? And change the working. Today is a Saturday. <laughs> Well, we can't speak for the other one. Yeah, we can't speak, but this is a question that we have to also uh, ask. And of course, we also stop registration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there were still lots of people out there who couldn't come in. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. Yeah. So you think the uh, media, in particular the Straits Times, has fairly characterized your, your group and, and, and your views? He already said no. Can you speak? Well, what's the straight start? Well, then be quiet. Let's be very objective. Be objective. Oh, right. <laughs> well, then be quiet. Let's speak. Just, um, okay. 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 I, 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 well, okay. I, well, I will not generalize. Uh, straight start. Let me be specific. Yes. Let's yeah. Go. No, okay. I, I will not generalize. St. I yeah. think um, there are reporters who are fair. There are also reporters who are quite slanted. So uh, that's all I would say. Mm. Sarah has been fair. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah I think. No, I, and I think I, I, I feel that it's important to report. Uh, yeah, I think it's important to report fairly, with integrity and truth. So um, that's all I will say about. So if you yes. to draw an idea about whether the media has been objective, I think what people believe that they have been. No, they, they don't think. Uh, sorry, I think what sorry people are more interested in is what you feel about the some of the reactions you had today. The reactions Were from. You surprised, first of all. No. Because it was quite. I wasn't you know, surprised. I felt. Huh? What you expected it. Hmm? You expected it? Yeah, I mean, based on the past one month, uh, uh, I, I don't think we expected it because there, there was a big jump in the membership. So it was really a question of uh, 
where all these people are coming from, where do they stand for? Can I can I finish? Uh, where they they where they are coming from? Who they are going to vote for? Um, eventually, it's going to be a numbers game. But we also knew that what the legal position is. So uh, it was really our decision whether we want to step down or not. Sorry, yes. Sarah. I think I misheard. I misunderstood your question. I thought you asked me the question. Did I? Did I expect the, the kind of out, uh, yeah. verbal yes. outpouring and the all that? Hackling. The hackling. I and think, no, yeah, I think that part we did. Yeah, we, did. we did because but I think based off the past one month, we've seen days. how loud they have been on the blog, on online media. I think we, 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 we came expecting such behavior. On yeah. hindsight, would you have done things differently? No, no. I think we believe in what no. we what we did. And to address the question on whether our uh, Straits Times or is, is considered fair reporting, I personally do not believe it was fair reporting. Okay. I second that. Um, I like to, I like to add to the point. Um, I mean, truthfully, I I don't know like I don't know Sally, I don't know Lois, I don't know uh, Maureen um, before the AGM. So I was surprised when I found out well, they happened to attend the same place. Um, as myself um, so I was very surprised when this religion thing was played out because in the AGM itself none of us spoke about religious beliefs and um, the, the homosexual thing only came in because we were asked by the old guard to state whether we are anti-gay or anti-lesbian but I think um, for past AGMs nobody was ever asked to state their religion mm -hmm to state whether they are pro gays or whatever because those were not reasons why a person should or should not be voted in to a woman's to the ex -co. So for that particular for this last AGM that those questions were asked mm. and statements were made that if you are not pro gay then you are not fit to be in this organization. So So that is discrimination. Is that for a fact? Oh, that was what was said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. However, hmm? don't you think that uh, the fact that you are all from the same church, or many of the, many of the new board members are from the same church, the Christian church, it allowed you to be perceived as representing narrow interests, and that if you had say had been, uh, you know, had a, um, a Malay member or maybe uh, a Buddhist member yep. or that that would have perhaps uh, been a better strategy for representing a wider range of... of sure, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Now, for the AGM election, we didn't know who was standing, whether there would be Malay, there would be Chinese or, Mal or Indian or Buddhist or... Catholics or Hindus, nobody knew the outcome of the meeting that day. Okay, and when the truth was like I said, Claire had lamented that she couldn't get enough people to support her in the running of the EXCO. So she asked for names of members who would be willing to support her in the election. And I separately on my own said, okay, I don't mind if you if that's what you are looking at in publicity, marketing, I can help. I don't know what went on between the rest. And then that day when it came, Claire proposed me and Dana Lam seconded me. It was so, it was a free election. There were twenty people who stood for election. Among the twenty who stood for election there were Indians. Mm -hmm. Um was there any Malay? No. Oh, no, and, and then no, there were know. there were um, it, it was all not all the twenty people came from church of yeah. our saviour or Christ or were Christians. There were atheists, there were Buddhists and so on. And the AGM was attended by people who were interested enough to attend an AGM. And the, one of the in, one of the items on the agenda was a proposed change in the constitution. I would have thought if you 